Authorized medicines must be distributed to retail pharmacists and other entities who sell medicine to the general public without any alterations of these medicine properties. However, there is inherent risk that the quality of a medicinal product can be affected throughout the distribution network. Weather conditions, mix-ups, falsifications, equipment status issues and other factors can affect product quality. The good distribution practice guidelines highlight the need for an effective quality management system and appropriate controls for all partners and service providers in the distribution chain, such as manufacturers, wholesalers, warehouses, and transport and logistics providers. In this course, we will discuss relevant aspects of the current GDP requirements and the latest developments in the storage, transportation and cold chain management of medicinal products. This course is part one of good distribution practice according to the EU GDP guideline. Here you will find our interpretation of chapters one to three, quality management, personnel and premises and equipment. According to the EMA, GDP describes the minimum standards a wholesale distributor must meet to ensure the quality and integrity of medicines are maintained throughout the supply chain. There are different people and entities responsible for the handling, storage and distribution of medicinal products. The risks involved are present at different stages of the supply chain. For example, during purchasing, storage, repackaging, relabeling, transportation and distribution. The falsification of medicines and the supply of medicinal products with lower than expected quality are the main concerns here. They present a significant threat to public health and safety. Therefore, it is crucial to keep these products from entering the supply chain. When it comes to quality problems, there can be visible or non-visible defects. Examples of non-visible non-conformities include a product that crystallizes unexpectedly, damaged packaging that makes the content leak, frozen products, and the presence of bacterial growth. Additional non-visible quality defects may involve the product's stability, purity, correct quantity, or transportation conditions. The number of GDP non-compliance reports has increased in recent years. From 2019 to 2021, the European Medicines Agency published a total of 16 non-conformity records. The majority of incidents involved the responsible person, premises and storage areas. There are a number of GDP directives, guidelines and reports. The main ones are as follows. There are two directives from the distribution of medicine in the EU. One directive is for medicinal products for veterinary use and the other one is for medicinal products for human use. There are also two guidelines. One GDP guideline is for medicinal products and the other one is for active substances. Now let's review the background of these guidelines. In 2011, the European Union enacted a new directive 2011-62 EU called the Falsified Medicines Directive. The aim was to prevent counterfeit medicines from entering the legal supply chain. The GDP guidelines were subsequently revised 2013-C-343-01 took effect in the EU in September 2013 with the aim of providing stricter guidelines to ensure the quality of all activities involving the distribution of medicinal products. The EU guidelines for human use were first published in 1994. 
They were reviewed in March 2013 in order to reflect recent advances in practices for the appropriate storage and distribution of medicinal products in the European Union, as well as the new requirements introduced by Directive 2011-62-EU. There are also two GDP reports from the WHO and a guideline from the PICS. All guidelines are applicable to wholesalers and any other actors involved in the distribution of medicinal products. If you are a manufacturer and also a distributor, the health authority that has inspected you will include the authorization to distribute the medicinal products. Organizations that act as a warehouse to store medicinal products can also obtain the authorization to distribute the products following inspection by the authorities. However, if the organization focuses exclusively on transport, it will not be inspected by the health authorities, nor will it obtain the authorization. It is the responsibility of the manufacturer to make sure the transporter complies with the GDP via supplier qualification and audits. Note that all authorizations can be found on the UDRA GMDP database website. The database focuses on manufacturing, import and wholesale distribution authorizations, as well as good manufacturing practices and good distribution practice certificates. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you find it useful and that you have learned what you expected. See you in other courses at SciLife Academy to continue your learning journey.